me tell you the extraordinary story 10 minutes before aid of Mamadoul Chowdhury. He's 35, he's a father of two. He's a teacher, he's on Facebook, and he shared a photo of Adolf Hitler which had the words, Yes, man, you were right. I could have killed all the Jews, but I left some of them to let you know why I was killing them. Share this picture to tell the truth a whole... to tell the truth a whole world. Go on, figure yourself. Uh, Mr Chowdhury added to this, Yes, now we can see why. He sounds a delightful soul, doesn't he? He was reported to police by a Jewish student he taught who'd previously been added as a friend on Facebook. He's now been to Bromley Magistrates Court. He lives in Tower Hamlets. He's been told he might lose his job. Why is there any doubt? Uh, where he's still employed as a teacher. Magistrates have fined him £465 plus £85 costs and a £47 victim surcharge. How does that work, uh, work out? Uh, now the school is reported to be considering whether or not he stays there. Uh, he reported to the police, attended a school he no longer teaches, Haberdashers Ask Hatcham College in New Cross. But, of course, he is still a teacher and he could go back into education. Let's speak to someone about more broad principles of this. Uh, Jonathan Sacerdoti is Director of Communications at the Campaign Against Anti-Semitism. How do you react to what you've, found, what you've heard to be the findings of the court? Good morning. Good morning, Nick. This is absolutely shocking. Not only is what he posted racist and hateful, but we now see that despite the efforts of the police and the Crown Prosecution Service in pursuing this with zero tolerance, as they should, we have a court which has found him guilty when he's pleaded guilty and yet only find him a small amount of money comparatively when we consider that he's contributing to a climate of hate in which we currently see Jews being killed around Europe. What should have happened in the court? I believe that he could have had time in prison for this, according to the law. Certainly, I think there should have been some much tougher sentence, and I do believe that there should have been some sort of ban on him being able to teach laid down by the court. As it stands, the Department for Education has told me that this is not an automatic ban in this sort of situation and that these things are dealt with by the NCTL and it has to be referred to them separately. So, again, it's rather shocking to hear that our current system allows people like this man to be employed in schools, teaching our children in this privileged position we give to teachers where they are influencing young minds. And apparently, there's no sort of check that's showed up that this man was posting things like this on Facebook. And his Facebook page, incidentally, which has now been removed, but until now was open for all to see, had likes for some preachers on there who also, according to certain anti-extremism groups, have very dubious beliefs themselves. Uh, one of them, it suggests, has even been on a page where people write in and ask about different, uh, different issues to do with Islam, has advocated rape within marriage of one's wife and then denied that he even did so. This is the sort of thing that Mahmoud Chowdhury was liking on Facebook before he even posted this Nazi image and he has been teaching children in London. Um. Why do you suppose there is this continuing, indeed, some would say, increasing drumbeat of anti-Semitism, Mr. Sajajoti? Anti-Semitism is often called the oldest prejudice, the oldest hatred. And unfortunately for Jewish people, it's something that they've always had to deal with. Uh, Jewish people have been kicked out of most of the countries they've lived in throughout their entire history. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's something that's very easy to get rid of. However, within living memory of an attempt to wipe out the entire European Jewish population, it's shocking to see somebody today, in 2014, 2015, posting images of Hitler, praising what he did, and trying to suggest that there was any way to understand this. And incidentally, Chowdhury's defence was that he didn't realise he was sharing this particular image, even though he posted it on Facebook, added a comment to it, and then edited that comment to hone his hateful message. All of this coming from an IT teacher who claimed that he didn't understand what a Facebook share was, and somebody who was a prolific Facebook user. I think it's despicable that he's been fined such a small amount of money, and so far that seems to be the sum total of his punishment. Thanks for your time, Jonathan. Sacha Doty is the Director of Communications at the Campaign Against Anti-Semitism. You may well have views on that. We'll come to those.